Okay, today I got up early, got out here, and I'm doing an update on the garden, finally. Uh, it's going to be a beautiful day after many really hot days. And here you can see is uh, one of those new raised beds. That one has some corn coming up. The actual sweet potato slips are all doing really good. Um, I think there's maybe one that I'm going to lose, but they look like they're enjoying it. I've been watering them twice a day though, since I put them in because it was just so hot. And there's the other bed. You can actually see some of them are starting to get some leaves on them. Then these are all those little berry plants I put in there. Every one of them it looks like is going to survive, so that's a good thing. And here's the other bed here. So that's pretty much outside here. Um, there are some buckets I did put marigolds in. You can see each of those buckets out there. I just wanted to try growing in uh, the buckets this year. So figured I'd put flowers in that don't matter. All right, let's go inside now. Um, here we have a couple different types of carrots. And it's kind of hard with the sun coming up. I'm getting a lot of shadows, but you can see the three round uh, raised beds of carrots are coming in really good. These are some beets. They still need some thinning and um, weeding here, but they're looking really good. This here is the rainbow chard. And that again needs some thinning, but it's still doing good. Uh, these are my onions this year, and most of them made it, so it looks like I might get some big onions this year. We'll find out. And we'll get over here into the eggplants. I actually put three beds of the eggplants in, and they were gorgeous plants when I put them out, but all of a sudden those little flea beetles came in and started eating them. Um, I've tried Captain Jacks on them, and that didn't work, so I may have to go for something uh, more chemical, chemicals in it to get rid of them, because I'm tired of losing my eggplants to them. And there's the okra that's kind of slow coming up. Let's just go around the other side here. And these are some couple yellow squash I put in this bin with a marigold to help with the bugs. These are just some white potatoes that I put in. They're not up yet. And the garlic is just doing gorgeous. It's uh, about 18 inches tall right now and it's just growing like crazy, so that's a good thing. All this sunshine and hot weather has really helped that get going. And then here's a couple of uh, Black Beauty zucchinis. I just put a couple in this year. Um, I don't want to just have so many of them like I did last year. It's a constant job to, to deal with them. So I just put four plants in for now. And then we're going to get into the peppers. These are the little round, uh, thick-walled Decuno Italian peppers that we really like to freeze for stuffing. And then let's go down here. These are those Adjavarskis that are the really big red peppers that we like to roast and put in the freezer. And we can go over here and uh, the shallots are all doing really good. You can see they're doing great. And I did have to replace my rain gauge because I left it out last winter and the whole thing was cracked and broken up. So I bought a new one and I learned a lesson. And these are those green onions, they're going crazy. And I just put a couple tomatoes in out here. These are some of the Paul Robesons. These are the, our favorite tomato. They're one of the um, blacker tomatoes that uh, has really a lot of great flavor. And then these are the uh, Principes that we dry. These are Italian little Italian drying tomatoes, and they're really one of our favorites also. And these are some yellow pears that were free seeds that I got. As you can see, these tomato plants are not in the best of shape. I actually wound up cooking them in the grow tent, and I destroyed several of them. Just because the tomatoes are taller than other plants, so to get enough light in for the other plants, I had the lights cranked up too high. And these are some of the giant emerald peppers there. Just six of them in there. And these are the uh, California Wonders, six of them. 
And again, more peppers here. Uh, these are the red Belgiums, the ones that grow like upside down on the plants with tons of uh, red peppers. We like them too. And the Jimmy Nardellos that are a Pimiano type pepper. So there's six of them. And then these are the, a couple of the plump tomatoes, the San Marzinos. I started a bunch of plump tomatoes, but most of them uh, I wound up tossing because they came out so bad. They got so cooked in the grow tent. So I did save four of them. And these are a um, black brandy wine here that are doing pretty good, it looks like right now. And let's just keep going over to the next bed here. And a couple Amish paste tomatoes that are really looking good. Um, they should do good. And then these are some Roma Martinson or Martinos, I guess. Um, and there's only two of them and then a couple of Bonnie's Best on the end. And these are some Cubanelli peppers here on the end. And I only started a couple of the, those are the uh, Natapinos there. I only put three in this year because they have a very high harvest. And I only did three of the Habanadas this year also. So pretty much that's what's on that side there. And you can see everything is in. And um, really it's, uh, it's doing good. It's been a little bit hot the last couple days getting it in, but you know, I managed to do it. We'll start around the fence out here, and this is, uh, this is some of the Black Panther edamame that we really like. And then there's a um, couple, of, some cilantro in the front there and some basil in the back. And you can see the peas are, they kind of got hit by that heat, but they're doing okay now. And a couple marigolds snuck in there. And then these are some of the uh, melons that I planted, either a French type melon I've never tried before, but I put a bunch of them in because I really loved the ones we had last year, so I'll try that. And then I've got a couple more um, peppers here along the front. And they are the Anaheims, and then some cucumbers planted between them for when the uh, peas in the back there are done. And then more cucumbers here, some Boston pickling that hopefully I'll get to grow up the fence once the peas are out. They shouldn't be around too much longer. And then across the front of them I put the dill in too. So um, hopefully they come in about the same time. And then this last box here, you can see this is, uh, these are some striped beans coming up. Uh, they started germinating. And the peas in the back there, I did lose a couple of them. Something decided to chew on the roots or something. But, uh, you know, basically the heat did uh, slow them all down. So this is kind of where I am, and uh, right now I'm trying a new microphone out to allow me to actually do some of the voice outside with the camera, and hopefully it'll knock out the wind noise and stuff, and you know, it's a Rode wireless microphone, so this is just kind of a test video to see how it works. Now you can see I've pretty much got this area, you know, here done with the gravel. I just grabbed another load of gravel. You can see the trailer is full over there to finish that last section. And I'm going to be working on some uh, water lines over here today too. And also this last section up here, I'm really not going to do much with it. The pear trees are up there, you can see, and they seem to all be started now. I actually ordered a couple more on clearance. And then this bed up here will be cleaned up and today I'm going to put butternuts and some pumpkins up there like I always do. Right, so I decided to take a walk up here show you the rhubarb is actually going crazy. Um, I do have a weed problem in the asparagus on the other side of it and that bed's going to have to come out I think. We've been eating asparagus for several weeks. And the grapes are really just starting to get some leaves on them and stuff. And the, actually if you look up there on the hill, the elderberries are in really terrible shape. The drought last year did most of them in, so they'll be coming out uh, another week or two. Now up here by the pear, this is that Bartlett pear that I put in. You can see some growth on there. This is the Anjou here, and this one really, uh, 
took off and has some great growth on it. Now the seckle pear, um, getting a little worried about it. No real leaves coming out, but the buds seem to be breaking open, but it looks like they're almost drying out as they break open. So we'll have to give that a little longer. Um, this plant I got from Home Depot and they had the roots pruned really far back. So I don't know if they really uh, hurt the plant doing that or what. You can see I'm down here this morning. I've got my wife's golf cart loaded up with everything I could possibly use over the next couple of hours. So that thing's really loaded down. That's been a real workhorse for me. Uh, she doesn't get to use it much anymore. and. I'm kind of still looking for a side-by-side, -side, but there's just none available right now. So tools are out, flags are up, and it's time to go to work. Um, I just wanted to, you know, try this new microphone out and see how it works out, and uh, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Just here's my little furry burry buddy here that I carry around now. That's a microphone and it's supposed to be good for up to 600 feet and there are actually two of them that go together with this package so you know we'll see how it works out but i just sneak in a little bit more up by the house here you can see the first batch of babies is gone and uh, mama's up there some more eggs in the nest and making more babies okay kale's going to be going in the freezer soon no matter how much spinach we eat we can't seem to consume it all. These were the victory seeds this year and they did much better than uh, I've ever had with the Baker Creek on the spinach. I'm real happy with them. And we got a couple tomato plants I snuck in up here. Uh, you know, still got lettuce and back in the back here, there's uh, gonna be some cucumbers, some of those soyo long cucumbers growing up the fence and again lettuce we've been eating as much as we can uh, and it just keeps coming back it's hard to keep up with same with the radishes uh, and this baby bok choy has just been so beautiful we've been uh, consuming that every other day almost Parsley's just getting going. I got a late start on that and this batch of kale hair is going in the freezer also in a couple of days. I put this in a shady spot so it's kind of been out of the sun a lot and enjoying it more. I just thought I'd throw in a quick update on the salad beds up here.